Shimai Baub and welcome to this textile design class on fastenings. So let's have a look at your learning objectives for today then. Today you're going to be learning about fastenings, learning and labelling at least three different fastening types, understanding what fastenings are used for and expanding your textile knowledge and engaging with some keywords as well. So Bethel Fastenina then. What are fastenings? Fastenings refer to a device that closes or secures something. And I've put some examples of little images there that you might be familiar with seeing. They're sometimes on cardigans, coats, bags, sometimes on trousers as well. Let's look more at snap buttons then. A snap fastener is a pair of interlocking discs made out of metal or plastic commonly used in the place of traditional buttons to fasten clothing and for similar purposes. And you'll see snap buttons commonly used on shirts and bags. So I've put some examples there of some novelty snap buttons. These look a little bit different because they're plastic. However, they still do the same job. So we've got a smiley face flower, a star and a heart there. This is another fastening called a hook and eye. So a hook and eye closure is very simple and secure method of fastening garments together. It consists of a metal hook commonly made of flattened wire bent to the required shape and an eye of the same material in which the hook fits. And I've put some examples there as well of hook and eye. In the middle, you can see that sometimes people embroider over these to take away that metal look. So these are commonly on cardigans and on trousers as well. Let's have a look at the buckle. This one you're probably more familiar with because you're used to seeing them in places such as seat belts in cars. So the buckle or clasp is a device used for fastening two loose ends with one end attached to it and the other held by a catch in a secure but adjustable manner. And I've put some examples there at the top. Another common place to find the buckle is on trousers. Now let's move on to a zipper or sometimes known as zips. So a zipper, zip, fly, dinghy or zip fastener, formerly known as clasp blocker, is a commonly used device for binding the edges of an opening of fabric or other flexible material such as on a garment or on a bag. And I want you to think now, where is the most common place that we find zips? So they're usually at the back of dresses or often on trousers. And I've included lots of different types of zips there on that image that range from different materials as well. Now let's take a look at buttons. So I'm sure you all know what buttons are, but in modern clothing and fashion design, a button is a small fastener, now most commonly made of plastic, but also maybe made of metal, wood or seashell that joins two pieces of fabric together. And if you are wondering what I meant by seashell, I've put an image there of a button that has been made from seashell and you get these wonderful reflective tones coming off it. So moving on to Velcro. Velcro is a fastener for clothes or other items consisting of two strips of thin plastic sheet. One covered with tiny loops and the other with tiny little flexible hooks, which adhere when pressed together and can be separated when pulled apart. Velcro is not as common on mainstream clothing. However, we do find it on shoes and on high-vis workwear jackets. So I just wanted to show um, some Velcro up close because I just spoke of how one side has tiny loops and the other has flexible hooks. And you can see these working together in the large microscopic image there. It looks like something out of a sci-fi film. <laughs> so that is how Velcro works. So now we've looked at all these different types of fastenings. Here is your brief task or main task. So on Teams, I would like you to look at the additional resources that I've provided you with and carry out the worksheet tasks. So you'll have a few different tasks to complete within this 45 to 40 minutes that you have left of the lesson. And I'd like you to upload your finished work to assignments. So good luck. Come back to this video if you need any additional help and support. 
and hail for now guys bye